Hey there, and welcome to day 16. Today, I want to talk to you about resource pages. Now, this is an idea that other people have also talked about, and you also will notice this on my own site, and I'm going to show you this in a minute. But it's basically the idea of creating not just a bunch of blog posts, but also pages, basically landing pages centralized around a particular topic. And then what you can actually do is have some unique content on that page, but you can also bring in stuff from your blog archives into that page, and then it becomes basically a themed guide. And it's also a great way to get people into your archives, consuming more of your content. It also, you could SEO target the hell out of this thing because you can make it really be keyword rich, I mean, it basically turns into a landing page for the topic. So let's pop over to my blog for a minute and let me just show you what I'm talking about. So we're here on davidrisley.com and you can see down here on the, on the sidebar at the top, I have got popular guides and we've got, right now we've got five of them. I have some other ones in mind here, but we got build an email list 101, how to set up a blog, how to write effectively for a blog. This one on membership sites is pretty popular, uh, but let me go ahead and click into one of these things and I'll show you what it looks like. Now here it is, it's about membership sites and recurring income. And I, I periodically monitor where this thing ranks in Google, but when you search for membership sites, it does come up toward the top of the result, which is a good thing. And that's what I mean by SEO targeting the hell out of this. So this is a little bit of unique content right here. And then down here, we've got some blog posts. These are just simple blog posts and I pulled them out. Basically it's kind of a series and I link to them right here in this guide a few other related posts, and then because we have an in-content stop point, which I've talked about in a prior video of the challenge, I've got an opt-in here. Now, if we click on another one, let me back, let me close this, and let's show you this one about email listing. Same exact basic thing, we got a little bit of unique content, we've got some of the posts on my blog in the archives that have to do with building an email list, and then we've got the stop point, which is an opt-in. Now over here, I mean, this is an option. Some people do this, some people don't, but I've got some links to related products and related things that I recommend having to do with email marketing and list building. So this is what I mean by having landing pages. These are actually pages inside of WordPress. They are not blog posts, but within them, I link to blog posts. And it's a great way to get people into the archives based on things that they're interested in. So what I want you to do right now, now that this video is ending, is I want you to go to your blog, look at the archives, and I want you to see how you can theme some of your past posts together into a guide that's centralized around a particular topic. It's, it's sort of similar to a category, except that you're really bringing out the best of the best. This works better if you've got a fairly large, uh, you know, pool of archive blog posts. If you don't, then this actually can help you with your planning because if you know that you want to create a guide about a particular topic because you know it's, it's going to do well in search engines and things like that, and you know people are looking for it, then you can design blog posts around that particular topic in order to put them into a guide. When I did that membership site guide, I actually did a four post series. They were just regular blog posts over the course of several days, and then I put them into the guide. So I kind of treated the launch of that guide like a little tiny mini product launch even though it was just content so think about this how, how you can do this on your blog look at your blog right now determine what the hot topics would be for your particular niche and how you can design a guide around them and put those into your sidebar okay i will see you tomorrow on day 17